Hi friends, this is Manjunath from CB Edutech. We are running with our area measurements. In my last video, you have seen that well, one side dimension is not known to us how we have to calculate that area. Our basic fundamental area of triangle of into base into height has come into help. Now, some other case is there wherein which we know all the four sides measurements. We can directly measure all the four sides. In that case, what we will do, we have an accepted practice of doing it and by average method. Let me see what is that uh, problem, how we have to analyze it. Very simple it is, but in, in during beginning days of the profession, everybody will have a little bit of confusion. That's why I am just wanted to explain you. Let us see this uh, is a site wherein which we know this is 40 foot and this is 36 foot. There is a difference and this is 42 foot and this is 46 foot. We know all the sites. Then we have to calculate the area. What is that we are going to do? 36 plus 40 divided by 2. 42 plus 46 divided by 2. Then the answer is 76 by 2, 88 by 2. And obviously, this 38 by 44, this is 1672. See, these simple calculations, when we are shocked, when we expect these new questions in our professional beginning days, we may get a little bit of afraid or shock, but you must be very confident and telling in this thing because you are right, because you know this, this is a fundamental thing. So, my request is you just go through your fundamental formulas of area of triangle, area of trapezium, area of hexagon, all those things which will be useful in measurement and reporting to your IROPS, which will be very, very important because you are always be with the fundamentals. Otherwise, you will be in trouble in your offices. Okay. Thank you. Share this video with your friends. Enjoy civil engineering. Bye.